The fate of James Crumbly is in the hands of a jury tonight. Today, the prosecution and the defense making their closing arguments. And tonight, as we take you through those key moments, we want you to bring voices of the families of the victims and what their hopes are as that jury deliberates. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette is in Pontiac breaking down what happened today. Jury deliberations now underway after hearing powerful closing arguments from both sides and at the same time families of victims speaking out. Four kids just died. Your son's in custody because he committed a school shooting and not once do you say, how did he get the gun? Prosecutor Karen McDonald recalling witness testimony and telling jurors facts indicate gross negligence causing death or failure to perform legal duty of reasonable care. McDonald adding the deadly school shooting in November of 2021 was reasonably foreseeable and using a simple cable lock, she demonstrated how it could have saved lives. This is me inserting the she added James purchased the gun and ammo, failing to secure it and leaving his son at school following a meeting against wishes of counselors who found the Oxford High School shooters violent drawings and online searches for bullets the morning of the shooting. James probably doesn't get a pass because somebody else also caused the death of these four kids. Prosecutors say James also failed to tell counselors his son had access to a gun and failed to get help when his son asked. The evidence is there. The testimony is there. Outside parents of students who were killed sharing their reaction. It's hard to relive it every single time. That's the that's the hardest thing. Um, you know, just every time you see something, it's it's different. Every time you hear something, it's different. And it just gets harder and harder. It really is um, mind blowing that uh, you can defend something like that. It's obvious he had doubts. Um, and it was a foreseeable thing. At the same time, the defense only called one witness, the defendant's sister, who claimed she saw no warning signs. You don't have to have the same reasonable doubt as your neighbor. The defense claiming James was not able to foresee the tragedy, did not believe the shooter was a danger to himself or anyone else, that he did make efforts to keep guns and ammo hidden, and that he was unaware of troubling journal entries. You heard no testimony and saw no evidence that James Crumbly was aware that his son had obtained access to those firearms and had handled them unsupervised. Attorney Wolf Mueller represents family of Madison Baldwin. I asked him, what did you make of the argument James didn't know? It's hard to fathom how James could not know, especially that morning when he sees, help me, and my life is over. James Crumbly chose not to take the stand and testify, unlike his wife, who was already found guilty. Jury deliberations pick back up tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. From Pontiac, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. So tough to hear from those parents. Thank you so much, Simon.